Hi and welcome to Inside UX UI. My name is Danny and today we're starting with the first episode of our public transportation website done in Acture. And it will be a whole series of about four or five videos. And to start off, I picked four public transportation websites to start a little research and to sneak a bit what they did and how they did it and to identify some patterns maybe and also to see how are they dealing with responsiveness. And with that said, I think we're just starting right in and uh, see what we can find out. Okay, so now um, I have these three sites here. One is from Amtrak in the United States and Trenitalia from Italy and SPB from Switzerland. And maybe we could also add maybe the one from uh, uh, here, the DB, Deutsche Bundesbahn from Germany, like so. But let's go back to the first one here. <clears throat> so first we have our logo and at the really top of the page there's this logo at the left and then the join and sign in uh, link here and of course our drop down uh, for language picker and we have a search it's also here integrated in the really top the top segment here of the page it's not so prominent. Maybe it's an element which is not used so often. Um, and then we have this symbol here, which looks like a bit like a sharing button. Okay, so Twitter and Facebook then shows up as soon as you click them. Well, um, yeah, okay, good. <laughs> In the second um, row here, you have at the top, top level links with a uh, little animation here. As soon as you hover, there is this uh, underline appearing and you have the train status and modified trip. Reservation, okay, so that's the, the model which opens up as soon as you click on it. It's funny though that, um, you know, you can specify how the mouse pointer looks like when you hover uh, a link. Yeah, anyway. So in here in the, uh, the next section, it's somehow a, a an image slider carousel, some sort of. Then comes another row with icons, and here you have another Hoover animation. You have the background changes completely to their uh, bluish color that they have. And they also have a drop down, which looks different than this drop down here with the language picker. And then we have probably the main section here it's uh it's not so prominent that somehow it's uh it's a bit hided here and uh you know then if we scroll down we have the button here and that one search we scroll down and we have some cards maybe well information and services bonus you know just information and then another row of these cards. It's, I don't know what they have. I don't like the center text in cards somehow. I don't, it's, it just looks somehow really floating. This stuff is floating inside the uh, this card. And uh, I would like to have a more structured card here. Okay. They also have some Hoover 
animations here and beneath that section comes another service here track your train so it's something completely different it's also a slider which um ah with with tabs here okay it's funny um and then there's this offering banner here it's sticky at this um, it's it's always sticky but as soon as you arrive at the footer section here the um, gets on top of the footer and then it stays there and the footer is um, then the footer has several internal links here uh, about informations no, so these social media sites they um, they use so anyway uh, what happens if I go from, I don't know, um, a noise to, mm, let's go to <laughs> Washington DC. It's a, it's a huge, huge travel here. So here you can also switch the, the, to des the destination and station you want to arrive part dates um, there's open uh, a model which is quite standard i guess you can switch here through the, the months then pick some day and say on and you also enter a return date uh, maybe some days later and then you have to add traveler which is also a drop down i don't know it was already one adult picked otherwise it didn't make sense to that the button turns green and then you click on it and go one step further so what is a drawn search another drop down Okay, so let's see what what's the next site looks like. Oh, that was a loading spinner. Looked some a bit weird actually. <laughs> okay, so that's a seventeen hour travel. <laughs> so here's a here's a a, a grid here with um, some services you can choose from. Let's go for a simple coach. Um, what is this? Select coach option. And let's go with the cheapest here. And then you have to say upper level or lower level. Let's go with the upper level. And then you can add this to the cart. What is this? No, you cannot change. It just does look like um, this is just information. A modal pops up. Okay, let's go to add to cart. What is this? Continue. Huh, I don't know. So let's add this to the cart. Now we have here on top um, basic information from where to where, um, the dates. Uh, here it's just not sure. Okay, maybe it's. It's obvious that this is the return date, but um, I would I would write that too. I can make new search, and of course, how much how much you will pay. Let's close that again. Uh, so I don't I don't get this here too. To um, why is, is here an arrow pointing up? And then there's there's a sites um, fly in model comes in. So and then we go to the next step, which is train options and accommodations um, for the return, I guess. And we choose the same here. And so, okay, now we we're done with the. Uh, with the train options and this accommodation thing and now 
This button here became green, which indicates that we can move on. We have to specify the primary traveler. Assign in turn rewards. That's just, I guess, not mandatory, but just a, uh, an add. So let's say here, um, just enter something. I hope this <laughs> it's okay here. So I need ticket. No, I don't really need that. Okay, let's try. Hmm. So now there's another, some more ads. If you want to add a bicycle or pets, not a label. Um, to have the two bags for free. <laughs> okay. So let's add a bicycle here. Oh, you can only add one bicycle. Okay. Add the cart. So that's 40, uh, 40 bucks more. No, don't protect my trip here. So this is the, the checkout um, site here. Summary of your, of your travel and your services you choose from the list. Um, Okay, it's, it's a mixture mixture of, of um, here's some ads and the, your actual trip. That's maybe not if you want to sell stuff, but um, let's see how the others are doing. If they also try to sell more services in the end. Okay, so I would have to enter my data here and then I would be able to purchase my services. Okay, so let's go to Trenitalia here, which looks a bit more uh, complicated, but uh, maybe it's not, I don't know. <laughs> so in the very first row here, we have some links. Maybe we change that to uh, English. Uh, whoops. Okay, so oh, in, the, in the English version, they replaced the, um, the nice image here with just a flat red area with some information on top of it. Okay, we have also other languages, even Chinese. What is Chinese? Oh, <laughs> it looks quite different. It looks like a style sheet is missing. But maybe they try to say somehow that it's not available or so, the service. I don't know. I cannot speak Mandarin, so <laughs> I don't know. So let's go back. So it's English. That's fine. And they also have their social media accounts here in the, in the really top part of the site. And then some links, navigation, but doesn't seem to me that this is the top level navigation. It's this um, with the reddish background. They also have some flyouts here. Okay, and the logo on the left side, of course. Okay, maybe, maybe that could... I'm thinking of just combining things together. So manage your tickets, for example, could be something in which could also fit into customer area because I, I anyway have to register first. Yeah. But maybe you can also manage your tickets without being locked in. That's actually also nice to have. I mean, you don't want to have logins for everything. Okay. So then they have these three tabs, all trains, Frecce and some uh, Frecce is, is the the high high speed train trains that they have. Input fields for typing in from and to your traveling. Then do you also want to have returns or only one way? They need they have a checkbox for that. Okay. Okay. And then so this is the date, which is also a date picker. And then this here oh, is time. Uh, passengers, just one adult, can only choose seven. Let's go with one. And children, looks like it belongs to the 
second row here somehow. Anyway, so, and they have our offers, <laughs> refund and journey cancellation. That's not an offer. <laughs> well, maybe yes, I don't know. Recommendation to train spread. Okay, this is, um, of course, maybe due to Corona times we're living in, um, that you have to provide some information to how do you can cancel your journey and um, a lot of information. And then they have a, an ad for their app they have. And Bernice more more traveling links to more information. And then there is not really a filter. It's, um, well, there is this, and then it says open. OK, and then this uh, gray bar pops up, and you have here more information or ads. What is this welcome drink? Why they put this in the footer where nobody can see it? Because a welcome drink is nice to have. <laughs> yes. Let's take a look at the SBB here for the Swiss railways. And here is a quite a different site here. Um, first of all, the logo is on the right. And they also have in the top bar here some well, signing in, buy tickets, which is, what is the, oh, okay, that's not really what we want to. Uh, signing in, um, language picker here, it's fine. And also search, and it opens a flap search model here. Oh, I didn't enter anything. Uh, and after search, it goes to a separate site. Anyway, let's go back. And of course, a menu here. That's fine. And they just have a from and to input field here. And then this button with this nice animation, which is cool. So let's say here we go to uh, from Ah, and as soon as you type in here um, something, then a second row appears. Say, uh, say you go to bottle, and you can skip through the dates here. You can also enter it manually. And also click here on the icon to choose your date. OK, this is just a toggle to say if you want to um, start at this time or arrive at this time. So you want to start at this time. But let's go down here for a second because they have more ads here. This, uh, Edge to edge banner here. It's not really a carousel. It's just um, an image, big image with um, a Hoover. The image gets bigger. And beneath we have more cards, containers. And it's I like these more than in Amtrak, to be honest, because um, it's more structured. It, it's it doesn't seem like flying around uh, text here. It's all nice structured. They even have their their uh, button animation here. They also use it here in the link buttons. And more cards. And beneath we have, they have more not services actually. Well, you can um, get to see what See your hiking. I don't want to open this in the same window as I already have made my entries, but I guess it's um, it's it's not that they are trying to sell something here like in like Amtrak does. <laughs> and at the end, I have the 
the footer, of course, it's um, two pieces here, the light gray, also social media sites, and then a smaller portion here with also a smaller text. And clock, which it's actually working. It's, it's like a, a clock face and uh, it's actually working. You know, what, I can click on it. What happens if you click on it? Uh, I don't want to lose my entries here. Well, anyway, let's do it. It's this uh, iconic um, watch face. I think Apple was once sued because they used the same design. <laughs> so let's close this, go back up, and my entries are still here. Click the search button, and now you're also, they also show um, a grid here with um, information. You have several information here. You have the buy button, so how much people they expect to be on the train, uh, how long the travel will be, and the train when it starts and when it arrives, and train number. Okay, and so I'll just pick one here. And they have a, they use a lot of white space here, I see. What can I do here? Yes, savings compared to a car. Okay, so they, <laughs> okay, I add also these information. And here more cards, information. This might also be of interest. Yeah, that's, that's good. So and what happens if we um, click on this big button here? We have to type in passengers, discount cards, no discount. Uh, the price gets, gets higher. Not passengers, no. Travel options, single journey. Uh, Send class, this is fine. What does that mean? Ah, okay. Uh, this is just uh, like a toggle. Anyway, we just go on with these informations. Then purchase as a guest. Yeah, I, I don't have a... So now there are more, one more step. Uh, here you can say which payment method you would like to use. Uh, Archers, no. Total price, I guess I have to click that. It's a, actually a quite structured site with all these containers um, holding, you know, you have to uh, payment methods here, means of payment, delivery. It's all structured in segments. Which is actually quite nice. <laughs> name surname. It looks like uh, from the system, but it's just my name. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, let's go to the purchase here. Oh, email address. Okay. Now I arrive to this uh, point where I have to uh, enter my credit card information, and then I would be able to to buy this ticket. Okay, let's abort that and let's see how it looks when this site is actually on mobile. So it's funny they have this slider here to see in which, in which step you are. So you're obviously in the third step. And the last would be a confirmation, which is probably just a, a site which says, well, thank you for purchase and some information. This is actually um, the alert for saying that the payment wasn't successful. And it's funny that they use something grayish and then also with a tick, which you can't really see well, but okay. And they basically just squeeze all together. Oh, that's a lot of um, things you could add here. Um, small little micro interactions, which is nice. 
and how does Trinitalia looks like. Um, ooh. Actually, here, that's the um, overlay here for the menu drawer. Let's see how it looks at the start page. Here, okay. And if you enter your something, okay. Yeah, well, you have you have to specify somehow the date and, and time, of course. Yeah. Okay. And here also a drawer for the menu. That's fine. What does soundtrack look like? like that and they have the upper part here it's always sticky so here yeah this is common uh it looks like a bit of a mess here <laughs> i like the upper part uh except the the um the gradient unlike the gradient but apart from that it's i like the the colors i like the colors Okay, so I think I will go on with 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 the mixture mixture of um, the SBB site and the one from Amtrak, and uh, I also have a fourth site here, which is um, Deutsche Bundesbahn from Germany, and they they look somehow similar, like the the one from Italy. Well, it's a bit more structured. Okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> okay, so the next step now would be that I'll take some papers and um, and pencil. Well, I'll do it on my on my iPad. <laughs> um, and anyway, just to make a sketch of a basic concept of what we would try to achieve in the in the next video. Okay, so I prepared here uh, a sheet here on my uh, iPad to draw out, uh, to sketch out a basic idea of our site, what, what I want to do. Um, now that I looked on these sites, I can say that I have elements from all of these sites, which I think I like. I like the, the white space here, for example, at the SBB site. But I also like some elements from the Amtrak site here. But I think I would go, I would say I'll put the logo at the right side, uh, at the left side. And then there is, I think, the login is an element which should go really on top so we then have either a sign in or uh, no let's say uh, let's say login better to say login or to no just just login and maybe maybe that would be a drop down and once you click on it then you would have a a model giving you the opportunity to log in and to re register new so that's maybe something to keep in mind. Yeah, a login, and then there's the um, the search. Um, I don't want to add the. Um, any social media sites on here 
Well, thinking of the perspective of the owner of this site, maybe maybe yes, but um, I don't know. I I don't feel right to <laughs> to put it here on really on top. Um, but what I want to add here is it's the language picker, which needs to be there somehow because we maybe have tourists or guests from other countries. And then you would have, let's see here, I think we can take this. Um, as they have it here. I like actually the look and feel actually from the SVB site. But I think in the second layer we could um, take this too and then wait, just make some notes here saying um, Uh. So just that I that I uh, remember. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to black here, and so in the second row we maybe just just take these um, these links here. Like so, and there's a um, I like actually the straight line here of well, actually also Amtrak had that. If the user clicks on it, and we then just have a, an underline. Or on Hoover. I think that's fine. And then I just want to have one one row of, um, of the main navigation because all the other stuff you can actually put in the flyout because it's anyway. I mean, I don't want to have too much stuff there inside. And then we have these input fields saying from let's make that a bit smaller and two maybe you would have Something here saying um, to switch the entries. Maybe you would also have a uh, hint, like so. And I think I would add also already here the time and the date as we are doing this differently. But let's add date here I don't know I just say just my can then uh, date and time a little bit smaller maybe you ha would have a function here you know, having a stepper, if you click on it, it goes up and down. And I have the, the toggle. Maybe you could uh, add also, ooh, also the toggle.
departure or arrival. And then just search. Oh. Search button. Okay. And then if we scroll down, we would have ads or Mm. You wait here. I don't know if it's needed, but maybe we could also add here in hamburger for more stuff. Let's find out what could be more stuff. Timetable. Ah, maybe. Okay, this is on on scroll. It appears and not if you're at top of the site. So, appears when scrolling down. Yeah. Let's pick black again. Now, to have a little separation here, um, yeah, there are some information or Ads. Let's see here. I don't know if it is important. Let me see here to add the traveler. How many travelers you you are? Maybe this is in the in the next the next step. You can add passengers. I think that's actually better because otherwise you you clutter your your interface here for yeah if you could add it but i think i will i will leave it like to add more travelers in a step afterwards because um i don't want to clutter the, the interface at this time okay so then you would have just an ad or just i don't know some pictures Maybe it could be also um, carousel sliding through some uh, information. Just like so, maybe. Just to have a little separation here from would we would we have and then maybe we could think we need some cards just to post some um, some structured information on uh, let's say one topic So I would have a, um, an image. I would have a heading, some basic intro text, and the button saying, um, to go to the dedica dedicated site to get more information about that. Uh, let's duplicate that. Maybe we have a free, free of those. Oh, let's put it a bit more in the middle, like so. And I don't know if I want to add too much of these because I don't know. I mean, two rows. I don't know if this is really interesting and for maybe, maybe another row. 
I'd say maybe maybe another row. Duplicate that like so. And then I would come down here to my what is it? To my footer. And the footer holds some, let's copy this here. It's actually here, contact and this information. It's just in four, uh, four columns here. Every of these is just a subline here and then we will have links here uh, maybe maybe a search here also or social media sites and some more links well, this is anyway not so important anymore. Or let's say um, not the interesting thing that we want to build here anyway. But there's maybe one sub um, footer here, and I think that's for the this side. Let's see. This is the starting page and now we want to know what would happen if we click on on the search button how it looks then like so and then we are presented with with just a matrix of uh, of um, connections that we could choose one portion is just uh, train information maybe we could also have Travel duration, of course, our buy button, and on which track. Yeah, like that. And we could, of course, have several of these. make um, four of these and yeah we could thinking about having another section here what <laughs> of having then a section more with with ads or more services let's let's copy this like so having the foot footer here let's delete this Once you click on it to buy a ticket, then you would come to a site which, of course, we have. We still have our our header with the with the navigation, but.
but then we would also have our um, steps indicator here. I think that's a good thing. And then having a uh, section with um, passenger and then um, ticket. And I think I also would have to go with this uh, preparation here. Maybe you could uh, travel again from start to, um, to destination. Yeah, that's actually a good thing here. Travel options and then uh, just go to the checkout here. And then you're probably in step three. Maybe we could also add this directly in step two and then going directly to the payment. Entering the credit card. Uh, credit card information like um, yeah, it's just standard procedure here um, and so on. Having a final site then having somehow a, a, a summary showing again what you what you purchased. Yeah, I think that's it. I think I, I would stop here at this point. I will think about it a bit more, I guess, but uh, I think for the for now, that's fine. And um, in the next video, I will lay out the uh, wireframe and having all out and ready to build a, a mock-up. And then as we, as I said, then having a hi-fi prototype and then make this thing to put in more life and to add also some logics yeah, I'm quite curious and uh, quite some work that we have to do, but um, I think it's, it's, a, it's a cool one. So, okay, so I will end this here and um, don't forget to subscribe if you don't have already to not miss any episode and uh, see you next time. Bye.